What's going on Subway Surfers? Today we're back on the surface to take a look around the future University of Waterloo station. Located in Waterloo on the Ion Light Rail Line, this station will become the largest bus terminal in Waterloo region, providing connections between the LRT, local buses, GO Transit, and other intercity bus companies. We visited the station this past week to check in on the construction and get an understanding of the scope of this project. I'm Zach with Fantasy Underground, and let's take a look. The University of Waterloo Station is located roughly 5 kilometers northwest of downtown Kitchener. Located on the campus of the University of Waterloo, the station is serviced by the Ion Light Rail Line, as well as GRT bus routes and GO Transit. While the light rail station has been open and in service since June 2019, the bus terminal remains under construction and aims to improve links to local transit for both commuters and students. The terminal runs perpendicular to the light rail line with the University of Waterloo Ring Road on the west end and Phillips Street on the east end of the platform. At Phillips Street, a new pedestrian refuge provides a crossing for the two-lane road, which is heavily trafficked by students when classes are in session. The station itself will contain 18 bus bays, divided along both sides of the roadway, as well as a new perpendicular roadway leading to Columbia Street. Long canopies will cover the platforms, providing a protected waiting area while heated shelters under the canopies will provide comfort during the winter. Next bus screens will display upcoming bus departures, and free Wi-Fi will be provided for waiting passengers. Near the center of the terminal, a bike shelter will provide a protected area for commuters to lock up their bikes, while multi-use trails will be located on the outskirts of the terminal to provide a convenient link between the nearby Laurel Trail and Phillips Street. Provision for future ticket vending machines will also be provided on the platforms, allowing passengers to purchase tickets for GRT buses as well as GO Transit. With construction progressing well, the improvements are on track to be completed by the spring of 2021. <laughs> Upon completion, the station will become the biggest interchange in the region of Waterloo, servicing the light rail line, seven GRT bus routes, and one GO Transit route. In peak hours, this will mean an impressive 12 LRT trains per hour and 46 GRT buses per hour. Routes 9, 13, and 19, which currently stop on the west side of the LRT station, will be relocated into the transit station, with routing for Route 9 and 13 revised to service Columbia and Phillip in one direction. Routes 31 and 201 would also be revised to deviate through the transit plaza, providing an iExpress connection to the station and removing the current 300 meter walk between the two services. As part of this change, the iExpress stops at Columbia and Phillip will be relocated onto Phillip Street, allowing buses to turn into the terminal. There are plans to also integrate the 202 University iExpress into the transit plaza. However, discussions are ongoing with the University of Waterloo to allow this to happen. Once the transit plaza is open, a new Route 30 will also be introduced, completing a clockwise loop around the University of Waterloo Ring Road. GO Transit Route 25 will also be relocated into the station from its current stop on the west side of the LRT station. These platforms will be located perpendicular to the terminal, allowing GO buses to lay over without disrupting the GRT buses. Greyhound and Megabus previously serviced a stop on Ring Road near Heggy Boulevard. However, with space allocated for them inside the station, it is expected that they will be relocated. Greyhound previously serviced the campus with two to three departures a day, and Megabus offered a single trip twice per week. However, both companies have recently withdrawn service from the Kitchener area, with no timeline for return given. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the future University of Waterloo Station. Once construction of the station is complete, click the button in the top right corner of your screen for footage from the opening day. Feel free to leave a like and a comment if you want to see more. And as for us here, we'll be Vanishing Underground until the next one.